All right, our next algebra topic uh, is going to discuss the distributive property. And this is something we are going to use a lot, and we're going to start pretty simple with it. We are going to start without variables, uh, just so I can show you kind of how this works here. Um, the distributive property, we're still going to use a lot of the same techniques we've used before. Um, we're still going to box off. We can combine things together. We're not really going to um, today because I want to show you how it works without combining first. Uh, and then we're going to do what we call is distribute what's on the outside to the inside. And I'll show you what that means. Um, in our first example here, if you were to normally do this problem, and you guys have done tons of problems that look like this, uh, I would put a little multiplication sign in between there because there's no symbol. 3 plus 4 is 7, and then uh, 6 times 7 is 42. That's our answer. Now, using the distributive property, and this is how I'm going to have you do these. I mean, this is fine. This is okay. And I'm, I mean, this is acceptable. But I'm having you do it this way because what we have up here won't work once we have variables. So what I do is down here, I box everything off. And this one's easy because I know they're all positives because there's no minuses. But it's a good habit to get into uh, to do that. So if I box these off, I've got 6 on the outside of the parentheses, positive 6. Here's positive 3, positive 4. Distribute a property. I'm going to distribute the 6 with the 3 and with the 4. And distribute implies multiplication like it did up here. So basically what I'm doing is 6 times 3 is 18. Then I come back to my 6 and I multiply 6 times 4, uh, which is 24, and I put those two things together. Um, you should never have to worry about whether it's adding them together or subtracting them just thinking about boxing them off. This is positive 18, this is positive 24, so altogether this is going to be positive 42. This is just another way to do these, but again, we've done this up here before, and that's fine, but I want you on all these assignments where we talk about distributed property to do this, because when we start working with the variables, um, it's going to be important that you can do it this way. All right, here's our next example. Uh, and if, if we were to just do this normally, I, I just want to show you that they're the same answer. Uh, 6 minus 2 would be 4, and then th negative 3 times 4 would be negative 12. So when we do distribute a property, we should get the same thing. So I'm going to box everything off here. Uh, and it's important to box off this front one, too, because normally it's just not going to be separate like this. It's going to have pro a whole problem around it on both sides. Uh, so I will box off the 6. I will box off the negative 2. Now I need to distribute throughout the parentheses here. Negative 3 times 6 is negative 18. Negative 3 uh, and negative 2 would be a positive 6 if I multiply those together. So now here's my final problem. I've got 18 negatives. I've got 6 positives. All together, that's going to give me the same thing I got up here, which is negative 12. We just distributed it out. And anytime I say distribute, it's going to be multiplication. Just like up here, we put that little multiplication symbol in there. That's an easy way to remember what we do. Uh, and then we can just put the things together at the end. Uh, same thing for this one. I'm going to box off to start with down here. I've got positive 4, I've got negative 2, and I've got positive 7. These are on the inside of the parentheses. Up here, if I would just do this problem, or we put our multiplication sign there, uh, negative 2 plus 7 would be positive 5. 4 times 5 is 20. So when I use the distributive property down here, my answer should be 20. Uh, so if I do 4 times negative 2, I'm distributing that out. 4 times negative 2 is negative 8. Uh, 4 times set positive 7 is 28. Positive 28. Put those two things together. Negative 8 plus 28 is going to be positive 20. Uh, we're just distributing out this 4 throughout the parentheses. Uh, here's a couple of examples where the problems are a little bit bigger. Now, we could combine all these together. I mean, this is almost like a combining problem. We could combine all these together and then times them by negative 3. Uh, but I don't want to do it that way. I want to do it the distributive property way so you get used to doing that. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to box off this. 
I'm going to box off everything inside. That's positive. That's positive. That's positive. That's negative. I will distribute the negative 3 throughout all of this. So negative 3 times 6 uh, is going to be negative 18. Negative 3 times 5 is going to be negative 15. Negative 3 times 2 is going to be negative 6. And then negative 3 and negative 7 is positive 21. So now my goal is I've got to put all of these together. And you can do that a lot of different ways. Uh, I'll start with the, let's go with, how about the 18 and the 15. We know it's going to be negative when we put those together. And that would be 18, 28 plus 5 would be 33. So that's negative 33, putting those together. Now I'll put it with the negative 6, which we know is going to be a negative answer if I add those together. So that's going to be negative 39. Uh, now here, if I put this with the 21, that's going to still be a negative answer because I have more negatives than I have positives. Uh, but I'm going the other way. So it would be 39 down to 29, down to 19, down one more would be negative 18. Negative 18 would be my final answer for this one. Coming down to this one, same thing, distributed property. I will box off positive 8, negative 10, negative 12, positive 2, and positive 12. Uh, I need to distribute this 8 amongst everything that's inside of the parentheses. So 8 times negative 10 is, of course, negative 80. 8 times negative 12 is negative 96. 8 times 2 is 16 positive. And then 8 times, and I can put that if you want there, 8 times 12, uh, 8 times negative 12 is negative 96, so 8 times 12 is going to be positive 96. Now we can put these things together. I'm automatically going to wipe out this and this because one's positive, one's negative. Those would cancel out. Those would make zero. So all I have left is negative 80 and positive 16. Uh, negative 80 uh, going back towards 0, 10 would be negative 70. And then go 6 more back towards 0 would be negative 64. So my answer here would be negative 64. Here are three problems. Why don't you go ahead and try these on your own. Use the distributed distribute property that we've been using. Now, if you want to do it the other way just to make sure that you're right, that's fine. But the goal of this section is for you to be able to use the distributed property. I'm going to change one of these problems around now that I'm looking at it here just to show you another view of it here. I'm going to put this 6 over on the other side. I want you to understand that if we've got a number right beside the parentheses, even if it's on the opposite side, it's still the same thing. So that means we would distribute the 6 throughout everything on here, just like we would distribute this negative 2 in everything in here and this positive 5 with everything in here. Why don't you pause this video, uh, give this a try, and then come back to it and see how you did. And if you've got questions, make sure that you let me know. All right, let's see how you did here. If I've got my negative 2, and that's going to be boxed off there, that's what I'm going to distribute out amongst these parentheses. Uh, and within, I've got negative 7 and I've got negative 4. Negative 2 and negative 7 is going to be positive 14. Negative 2 with the negative 4 is going to be positive 8. Put those together, your answer here should have been positive 22. If I come to this one, what I'm distributing is the positive 6. And I'm going to distribute that amongst this 2 and then plus a negative. What this is going to be, you would box off the symbol that's in front of it. This is going to be negative 7. So I've got 6 times 2, which would be a positive 12. I've got 6 times negative 7, which would be a minus 42. Uh, boxing those off. Uh, negative or positive 12 and negative 42. Well, if I have negative 42 and I go positive 
2, that's back towards 0, 2, that's going to be negative 40, and then I need to go back towards 0, 10 more, which would be negative 30 for that one. Uh, and then last, one with multiple, multiple numbers here. I've got my 5 on the outside, which is what I'm distributing. I've got 8, I've got 2, I've got 7, and I've got, looks like, negative 5. So my 5 times 8, which is positive, would be 40. My 5 times 2 would be a positive 10. My 5 times 7 would be a positive 35. And then my 5 times negative 5 would be a minus 25. So I can put these two together and get 50. I could put these two together and get, what, 85. So now I have 85 minus 25. So I've got to go backwards 25. Uh, 85 minus 25, I would believe, would be positive 60. If you've got any questions on doing it this way, because again, we could have done these the other way, but the reason we did not is because when we get variables mixed into these equations here, you can't do what we did before. We've got to use the distributed property.